and that is Hey guys, hey, welcome to another And in this video, I'm gonna give you some of my tips on how to get your dog to listen to you no matter what, even in a high distracted area like this. Okay, I'm at Houndstooth Coffee in the Domain in Austin. It's an early weekend morning, and I decided it would be a good day to come out and film a video with my dude. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, click that subscribe button. Help us on our mission to save all the damn rescue dogs. Ooh, what do yeah. you have there? House coffee. Okay, house coffee with cream. Yeah. Yum. And reserve coffee. And reserve. What does that mean? It's like a single origin Ethiopian clean blend. Nice. And <laughs> what do you have in your pocket? Oh. Stash of breakfast tacos. Oh my gosh. Is that the secret to get your dog to pay attention to you? Yep. Breakfast tacos? I want to talk to you about how to get your dog to pay attention to you no matter what. Like most of my tip videos, the answer is actually pretty simple. And it is, you have to be the most exciting, most important thing to your dog, even in high exciting, high distracting environments. So the real answer or, or the real question is, how do I become the most exciting or most interesting thing to my dog? And, and that's what I'm gonna talk about today. It's actually also pretty simple. The first thing that I did with Finn is work with him him in low distracted environments. So getting him used to responding to me and to my commands and following my direction when there's not a lot of distraction. So that's obviously step one. But the way that you get them like super jazzed to want to listen to you is simply to work with them, um, to work with them every damn day. That can be basic obedience, like Finnegan, sit. Yes, good sit. There you go, yeah. And working with them on basic obedience and tricks. Finnegan, can you high five? Yes, good job, Finn. Oh, good job, buddy. It can also mean just generally exercising with them. Like let's say you're gonna go for a run, take them with you. But basically what I'm saying is in order for your dog to become super excited to be around you is you have to build a relationship with them. It's kind of, it's kind of like building a bond, if you will. You need to build that trust. You need to build that love, that, that enjoyment of being around you by working with them and another fun tip that really really helps with this and I don't think people think about this enough is peeing. What do you love to do buddy? What do you love to do? Say I love to play. Yeah like one of the best things you can do for your dog is play with them. You can play fetch, you can play tug of war, but playing with them is so so important but really the two things if I had to summarize on how you can get your dog to pay attention to you and to walk with you loose leash even when they're hi when they're just a puppy when there's people all around cars driving new sense is to work with them so they learn to understand what your language is and how to work with you um, it also helps build trust and to play with them build a relationship with them. It's just like a relationship with a human. You have to work at it and it takes time, but the benefit is tremendous because then you have a dog who wants to be around you and is excited to be near you. And then in, an, in a situation, Oh, there's a kid running in front of a car, he's fine. But then when you're in a situation where you need your dog to listen to you for safety reasons, for example, they're more apt to do it because you've worked with them, you've built that relationship, you've built that bond. I also have a bunch of tip and trick videos of things that you can do with your dog, whether it be fun brain games, obedience training, trick training that you can do with your dog, again, to build that relationship. So you guys can go watch those to get specific examples of what you can do with them. Okay, so now I'm going to get back to this because I have not finished my coffee yet. Oh, guys, holy moly, I forgot to tell you. Look what we have. Okay, hold on. Let me... Okay, you ready? You ready for this reveal? Okay, this is, this is like, this is a dream come true. Well, okay, for me, it's a dream come true and I, I don't know, I just gotta show you. So I have something to show you guys to launch and to explain, and that is... Look at 
that, guys. We have merch. It's true. Of course, it says, save all the damn dogs. Um, I'll have some pictures linked up here so you guys can see it. Um, the link for this will be linked down below. And all of the damn proceeds for the sale of the shirt will go to Pause for Change, which is a Rodney Habib organization dedicated to researching pet health and nutrition, which you guys know is near and dear to my heart. So I will make nothing on this. It will, every penny that I make on this will go towards that. So you guys, check it out. I designed it 100% by myself. It's not that complicated, it's, it's, it's words, but hey, it's not my forte, so I don't know. Finn, what do you think? Should we get a dog one too? Thank you so damn much for spending some of your day with me. And um, I hope that you have a beautiful day.